good i am back i am back it's been about a week since i last did a scope and i'm i'm glad to be back and i've had a lot of things that have been uh rolling through my mind over the past week with the past few experiences um that i've had and i wanted to share this you know i had the thank you thank you brother hicks yes indeed as a matter of fact that is a uh, what uh, a little piece of what I want to talk about. Uh, last week, I had the pleasure to welcome our second child into the world, our daughter, London, into the world. And um, we already have a son. And um, I, it, it was interesting, some of the things you notice uh, from from the father's perspective of the birthing process that I didn't notice the first time. Um, And of course, everything I say now is purely based on observation, not firsthand experience. My wife had to have the firsthand experience. But I had the uh, opportunity to just observe some things uh, throughout the process. And um, it, first of all, it, it's, it is a surreal feeling to welcome your child into the world and to watch that process and, and see a life uh, just come into the world the way that they do. So I thank God for my wife, who was a, a trooper through that process. And one of the things that I observed is that uh, in order, and if this is no you know, this, this part of it isn't really profound, but, uh, when you're going to have a child, and of course I'm saying this by observation, there is pain that comes with the process. Women go through labor pains and there is not a woman since Eve that has given birth that has not experienced labor pains. It is a necessary part of the process. And if you are not experiencing labor pains, you are not giving birth. And, but you want to give birth throughout the last few, last several weeks of our pregnancy. My wife made it regularly clear, I'm ready to have this baby. But it was necessary to have, in, in order to have the baby, you have to have labor pains. You have to experience pain. And then while we were dealing with the nurses at the hospital, the nurses would regularly come in and check on us and ask, are you experiencing any pain? Now, even with an epidural, I understand, although you have the medication to numb the pain, you can still feel pressure. (laughs) I need somebody to help me preach this part of it. Even if you don't experience the labor pain with an epidural, the nurses will tell you that you should still be experiencing pressure. You should still experience something happening that indicates there is progress in the birth canal. It is something that you feel, whether it's pain or pressure, that indicates there is progress being made of a baby coming through. So in order to experience progress, you must experience pain. Sometimes pain is progress. Sometimes pain is not a work of the devil. Sometimes pain is not a result of your sin. Sometimes pain is a necessary part of the process of your deliverance. Let me tell you what Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 66. He says, uh, for when Zion travailed, then she brought forth her children. It says that can the earth be made in a day or is it can you give birth before labor pains come no in order for you to give birth you've got to experience some pain you've got to experience some pressure and so if you want to see that progress you better be ready for pain you don't just pray for deliverance and everything happens as smooth as silk no sometimes god's got to put the pressure on you to make sure that you are able to endure the pain in order to accept the process. And so what I'm saying to you is anything worth having is worth laboring for. 
my God. I love looking at my daughter's face. I love looking at my son's face. But I know that in order for them to have come into this world, in order for them to, for in order for us to experience that joy, in order for us to experience the pleasure of parenthood, we had to go through the pain in order to get to the progress. And so what I want to encourage you is that if you're going through pain, it means you are working toward something. You are working toward your deliverance. Your pressure just might mean your deliverance is around the corner. Your pressure just might mean your breakthrough is right around the corner. Your pain just might mean you're almost there. So don't poo-poo the pain and and, and, and it's going to hurt. Whatever pain you're dealing with, financial pain, marital pain, uh, uh, childhood pain, school pain, job pain, whatever it is you're dealing with, what I encourage you to do is count it all joy when you go through various trials for God will allow those things to result in your spiritual maturity so that you end up lacking nothing. And then let me remind you of what uh, what John uh, 16 and 21 says, when a woman is going through childbirth, she endures, endures pain because her time has come. But when she gives birth, she forgets about the pain because of the joy that a man child was born into the world. So, so here Here's what I want to encourage you. While you're going through pain right now, you better believe that the joy that you experience as a result of your breakthrough will cause you to forget about any pain that you experienced beforehand. And so look forward to the overriding joy, the overwhelming joy that comes as a result of your labor, that comes as a result of your travail, that comes as a, re- as a result of your pain. Pain equals progress. Pressure equals progress. And it only means that your breakthrough is on the way. It it was a blessing to watch that process. No, I didn't like seeing my wife go through uh, 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 that much pain. Uh, But guess what? I have a child that we are enjoying right now and we are talking, we talk more about the child than we do the labor pain. We talk more about raising a family than we do the labor pain. We talk more about the joy than we do the labor pain because labor pains only happen for a season but the joy of deliverance, the joy of of being a parent, the joy of raising a child happens for a lifetime. And so what I want to remind you of is sometimes your pain equals progress. Sometimes your pain and your pressure, it means deliverance is on its way. So don't be discouraged. Count it all joy and don't let the enemy steal your joy by letting that pain be a distraction or a detour from your progress. Amen. It's good to be back on the scope. I'm, uh, I, I'll be uh, back on regularly again. Uh, needless to say, the last several days I haven't been around because uh, we've been celebrating the birth of our child. But God is, uh, <laughs> Amen. Thank you, honey. Uh, so uh, I, I want to continue to uh, bless you and encourage you. I'll be back on as regularly as possible. I'm going to try to get back to my daily routine, but it may be a few blips as we uh, get things, as uh, we continue to get things back to normal. Uh, Also, real quick announcement, uh, I will probably be on a hiatus from Blab for a few more weeks while we get things settled, but I plan to be back on Blab uh, regularly um, over the next several weeks. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Share the replay with your followers if you're so led. And I pray that you continue to be blessed. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Have a blessed day.